don't know. It's some animal. Like a large cat, I think. A large cat. It's like a painter. I don't know what the bloody hell it is. The English countryside, characterized by landscapes which consist of rolling pastures and towns adorned with quaint architecture. However, accounts tell of a mysterious beast, feline in appearance and vicious in nature. Locals call this creature the Beast of Exmoor. The creature is described by eyewitness reports as a large wildcat, jet black in color and possessing a long tail and muscular torso. However, no cat of such description occurs naturally in the UK. Their origins instead are moved to stem captive collections. Big cat ownership, widespread in the UK during the 1960s, was ultimately outlawed in 1976. In response, some owners freed their cats, letting them out to the countryside. Since then, sightings of big cats in the wilds of Britain have been reported from all across the isle. It is even claimed that they raid and kill livestock. In the 1980s, several farmers reported something was killing their sheep. The markings were made in a manner which matches the hunting tactics of big cats, with wounds inflicted primarily around the skull and neck area of the kills. However, despite a search for the culprit, no big cat had properly been identified as being connected to such incidents. Though in 1990, 42-year-old Thomas Brooks was hiking in the moors of Exmoor National Park when he caught a glimpse of what he described as a large panther. He pulled out a camera from his pack and started recording the creature. The footage shows what looks like a large feline, dark in coloration and sturdy in build. Brooks insisted that the animal was far too big to have been a feral cat. Later that day, Brooks stumbled upon the carcass of a stag. The area around its neck was completely mutilated, much like the reports of attacks on livestock. However, the most shocking evidence to this date came in 2002, when authorities received an emergency... Despite extensive search, no body was ever recovered, nor did authorities find any signs of a potentially escaped wildcat, leaving the case unsolved. To this day, however, sightings of large wildcats continue to spread across the English countryside, and while the general scientific community remains unconvinced, many still cling to the idea of these mystery predators stalking the moors and terrorizing rural communities. It is because of this that the myth of the Beast of Exmoor continues, and the search goes on.